Hello, may I speak with Benjamin List, please? Yeah, yeah, he's online. Thank you very much indeed. My name is Adam Smith, calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the yeah. Nobel Prize. Yeah. Well, many congratulations on the award. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm really happy and honoured. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you heard the news. Well, I was sitting in, in the coffee with my wife. We were, were about to have breakfast. And then the phone came and on the display it said Sweden. <laughs> and we looked at each other in disbelief, like jokingly, this is the call, you know. And I went outside and mm -hmm. it was the call. Uh, so that was, that was really, I don't know, it was like a, like a dream. Of course. Were you, were you yeah. able to compose yourself for the call? <laughs> Well, I had to deeply breathe in and out, and, and then I felt like, you know, I had to feel composed enough, at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how lovely to be with the family when you get the call. That's yeah, special. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Just my wife and I sitting in a coffee, and, and you know, she's been there all, the, all those years, you know, from, from the end of my PhD until today. And uh, so she was there when discovery was made, and, and, and she supported me over all those years. And it's great to to uh, actually get the call when she is in the in, in is around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How lovely that you can share it. And what a pity you can't just sit there and ca savor the moment together quietly, rather than be phoned by annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm happy to also, I mean, it's kind of, I know that this comes with, with this award, you know, I, I am happy to fulfill my duty, <laughs> because I consider it a duty also, right? I mean, this well, is kind of, a, yeah. Thank you. Yes, I, rem I remember Orhan Pamuk saying, yes, I understand I have to do my homework now. And I... <laughs> no, I, I, I am completely unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there will be much focus on the myriad applications of the technique, yeah. but, but I mean, you're an organic chemist and the joy is making molecules. Can you say something about that, that particular pleasure in just building new things? Mm. Yeah, I love, it's difficult to explain to, to people who are not chemists and not, especially not synthetic chemists, because we really think, and maybe it's naive or, or weird, but we really think our molecules have certain beauty to them. And, and then making them is like creating something beautiful. And especially if they're natural products, somehow natural products have a, have a particular beauty often. But also, also like if you, make, if you make a certain drug molecule that saves lives, I think it's it's beautiful to do this, right? and and people, we are as chemists, we are often, you know, we we are people who I don't know are responsible for plastic waste or, or other or glyphosate. I don't I'm nothing against glyphosate, or you know, just just people don't realize how much how many great gifts chemists provide to to our life, right? Mm. I guess, I guess, and, and and so yeah, it's it's. Making making molecules and making them, and then there's another aspect. It's not just the molecules that are beautiful, but also the way to making them, how you make them, and and there is the there can be huge differences. Like some approaches require toxic reagents and and produce waste and use a lot of energy. But if you do it elegantly and you don't need, like we have this great term that my colleague Barry Trost of Stanford University has coined. It's called atom economy. When we make molecules from other molecules and all the atoms of these other molecules are um, still preserved in your product mm. that we that's called atom economy like perfect atom, atom economy and and that's for me a perfect and beautiful chemical reaction <laughs> yeah it's just it's honestly it's just a joy and, and i would argue i would argue most chemists do this because they love it and, and, and enjoy it thank you so much for taking just a minute to talk about the beauty of the science i think that's yeah. I think it's special that people should understand that. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah. And, and just one, we don't have long, but one last question. What is it that you think is special about your research environment that you created that allows you to be so creative, so innovative? Okay, now it's a good moment to, to thank my my host uh, institution, and that's the Max Planck Society, of course. And because... Like the Max Planck Society, I also 
believe that what it takes to 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 do to be creative is freedom <laughs> and 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 sort of the the trust by your funding agencies that they think okay you know I, this this scientist has a, has great ideas let's give him the space and the resources to fulfill his dreams <laughs> and 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 this this is totally also my philosophy and that's what I try to in a small way, in my department, you know, try to recreate this freedom. And I'm, my, I hope my graduate students will not oppose to what I'm going to say, but I, I think I'm not a slave tri- driver. And I'm not saying, work harder, work harder, work day and night. It's not my philosophy. I also encourage them to think and, and to enjoy life. And, and for example, we, whenever we have something to celebrate, we celebrate it. And even if we, for, occasionally we, we may not have something to celebrate, we still do it. Like we like to occasionally when somebody has a nice little discovery, then, then we have a little party in our seminar room. And, and I, I think the people that have joined me over the years, they are in line with this, with this spirit and, and and we had recently we had we had our international dinner last week where my group of course is it's it's composed of many different nationalities and each of them brought a special food from his or her own country and and there was this moment that we tried all the food and, and everybody gave a little speech about you know the style of his country and, and this internationalism and respect for each other, this diversity. And there was this moment I was among my graduate students and I, I had goosebumps on on my head because I was enjoying this so much to work with these amazing happy and creative people it's it's such a gift already and yeah that's that's my sort of philosophy about you know freedom in science and, and how, how creativity uh, is formed thank yeah. you so <laughs> much in this brief call we've talked about family beauty dreams friendships yeah. society yeah. Yeah. it's what an advertisement for science <laughs> yeah. that's true it's, it may be a bit unexpected like but i come from a family of artists and scientists and so we always have, have, have sort of both sides in my family <laughs> Lovely. Well, I hope we'll have the chance to talk more. But for now, that's fantastic. Thank you very Wonderful. much indeed. And congratulations. Thank you very much, again. Adam. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this moment, you might also like this special edition of the Nobel Prize Conversations podcast. Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and recalls his favourite moments from these very special calls.